Good morning, noon or night everyone, depending on when you are listening. Welcome back to Crash Landing, the kick you in the butt hardcore quest mod pack. Ow. Like that. Kick you, kick you in the butt. <laughs> um, yes, welcome back. It's uh, Chewy and me here. Hello. Let's <laughs> say so Chewy and Picky. <laughs> yep, well, that's what it is. And um, yeah, Picky's well, been what have we been hard at work. He's made oh. sandwiches. He's made lots of sandwiches. <laughs> uh, Robert, had no. to a... You've made a five mango... But... <laughs> Bear in mind we've eaten some of this as well. You've made five <laughs> mango and jelly sandwiches, apple jelly sandwiches, orange jelly sandwiches, lime jelly sandwiches, and starfruit jelly sandwiches. We've got sandwiches coming out of the wazoo. Yeah, and, and the reason why is... um, Look, I, I'm a farmer at heart, you know. I'm in the Aussie outback here, and... <laughs> oh. You know, you working what up do you mean the out, What do you mean the outback? Don't you live in Melbourne? <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the outback. And um, yeah, look at look at all that rice and peanuts and sugar cane for the sugar to make them make all the f sandwiches we need. If we type in food here, look look at the amount of sandwiches there. That's I highly recommend. This is the only food source you need. You, you grow the rice for the, to make the bread because you can do that with the dough. Uh, and then the jelly is quite simple, sugar and, um, you know, apples, blackberries, kiwis, whatever you can get your hands on, guys. So this is the main thing, and then you just need the sauce. Yeah, so while Peggy's been farming and making You've been sarnies, dying in the city. I've been dying in the city quite a bit. If you actually look at the uh, quest book, you'll never look at quest book, Peggy. <laughs> if you go into uh, the party okay. and you click on... Uh, oh, no, not party. If you click on the um, lives... Uh, you may yep. notice that I've died nine times. Um, Piggy's only once. Uh, lot, lots, a lot of bad mobs in the city. Um, I mean a lot. I've died twice from falling. Uh, six times from mobs. And one time from magic. Because we've been messing around with some more of these uh, pneumatograph seeds. And um, there's these certain seeds called potion plant seeds. And when they grow... Uh, where are they? Here they are. Potion plants you use in this chest here, this little pink one. When they grow, they, like several other of these, like the quick ones explode, the uh, chopper plants you shoot them up in the air and launch them. Um, turns out the potion plants you give potion effects and they randomly float away. Um, one of those effects is instant damage. So I was here messing around with potion effects, just seeing, oh, I'll just walk straight into it, find out what it is. Walk into it, open up, look, saw the little menu thing, I went, instant damage, and I just went, well. <laughs> and uh, I died very quickly, and I hid inside till the pilot effects floated away somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, that's part of the reason just I've been experimenting and Piggy wants nothing to do with it, basically. I'm okay with the pneumatic graph stuff. Not best but, um, yeah, and we're also, um, you know, shearing takes up a lot of um, iron, and if you use an invar, it takes up a lot of invar. So we go, you know, let's make a scythe and um, yeah, speaking of which, the leaves I mean, that way. We've made, I made one earlier, and we, um, <sighs> which is that one there in Piggy's hand. It's uh, got knockback on it and silk, uh, and silky, silk touch. A uh, silky gem was put on it. Basically, knockback was just put on it because of the upgrade system in this. Yeah, that, the, it dinged. It, got yeah, back it, on that, it. <laughs> it dinged, and it got knockback on it. Um, it's, um, because knockback is kind of annoying, we uh, stuck a silky gem on there, which are now allows us. I'm, tr I'm actually trying to find a sapling if I can find one somewhere. One. Oh, no, I've got a tree already pre-done up here. Have you? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm I, I'm organized. So yeah. So. With a normal scythe, it will just destroy the leaves and give you, you know, the saplings and all that. Yeah. But with Silk Touch, <gasps> yeah. So, you know, add auto repair onto the scythe or um, yeah, the charging of the, what's it called? The, um, that the energy cell thing flux. called. Flux capacitor onto it, you um, just charge it back up. Yeah, so I've got myself a... Uh... Nice pickaxe as well now. Uh, not a pickaxe, yeah. Oh, I call it a pick. That was stupid. It's a scythe. I named it as a pick. Damn it. That was really <laughs> stupid. Yeah, have a read of that. <laughs> God damn it. Pick. Yeah, I call it a pick. Oh. That was stupid. 
Pick just uh, being named because pick is P I C K. Oh, true. But yeah, I, it I, could I, just be that's the name of something. That's the name of your pick. Pick. Yeah. Can you rename name this? Of your pick you put it again? Um, you have to give it a upgrade. What's it oh, called? Um, it won't. It won't allow you to. You you can type it in, but it won't change its name. You have to put an upgrade on it. Ah, uh, damn it. Try anyway. Dang it. Okay. Yep, so we've got wait, um, wait all these things. That's new fine. water system over here. I don't know whether we showed this last time. We're now cooking the crucibles. If you're wondering why this is slab, it's because we've got the flaming pyrothium. pyrothium under here. Now, this will light on fire soon because I've uncovered the slab. But if you put a 2x2 two two slab around the area of where the pyrothium is, it will not light it on fire. Now the source block is directly under this crucible, which is making our water. And as you see, the speed there is 0.7 millibuckets per tick. And the one that's creating the lava is 0.5 millibuckets per tick. And that's because that's under the flowing pyrothium. And that's got the source block under it. So the source block under it gives it quicker cooking in the crucible. And um, as you see, we're going to buttload of water and yeah, lava. A load of water so. and lava. We're, we're pretty good on stuff at the moment. I mean, this is... In essence, this is 87 bottles of water in here, so I think we're good for a little bit, and this is still building up more and more. Um, also, what we've made in the smeltery over here, it's got a bit of my blood in it. Um, I jumped in there earlier. Uh, basically, I've been using this to make these tools and these bits and pieces. Um, me and I've got a lot of alumite here. I made some more alumite. I've been smelting down the, um, uh, the stuff in this one, in the, like, the... Um, Alumite axe heads we got from the city. Smelted them down. You just chilling in there, are you? A bit more blood. What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to make. Oh, need a bit more blood than that. No. Make coagulated blood. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and I was going to eat your blood. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I've been using this just to make, build all these tools. I mean, well, I've got a nice pickaxe on me as well. Uh, this is made from a slime tool rod, uh, a slime binding, and a uh, aluminum head, and it's really quick at mining stuff. I mean, just, just look at this. Just pop, pop. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> yep, they're all done. <laughs> Got there. <laughs> uh, so, I yeah, need to upgrade mine, but I'll do that later. So yeah, that's basically what we've um, what we've done. I don't think there's anything else we need to show you at all. Nope. So we can uh, move on with today's episode. Yes. That uh, oh, is. I'll just point out the slime slime balls we got uh, were from these uh, slime plant seeds which I found in the city. Uh, when they grow up, they uh, spit out a slime. So we keep, every now and then there'll be a slime in in the base, but don't worry about it. We'll we'll just take care of them quickly. But yeah, other than that, that's slime. just wanted just want to clarify. Where Ooh, we got and slime. We've got, we've got potatoes. We've got potatoes. Oh, yeah, we've got potatoes. We've got potatoes <laughs> as well. I've got some uh, well, uh, french fries on me. While nice. you were in the um, city, you um, killed a zombie yeah, and you killed a zombie potato. And, just and, it, it. and it was so awesome because Chewie's like so excited and he's like, Guess what I found? And I'm like, Potato. Like, yeah, I was very excited. I just I wanted to <laughs> come back and just show him. And it, we're both getting excited. And no, he just went, No, you got a potato. Great. <laughs> you know what? Screw you, all right? I just I wanted to have a moment. <laughs> you took it from me. Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to be building the pneumatic craft pressure chamber. Yes, yes, we will. Can't get up to it. Um, pneumatic craft stuff is pretty awesome, actually, considering what, we, what we're going to be using it for. Uh, all of our pneumatic craft stuff is in here. Uh, what we basically need is a pressure chamber walls. We're going to need some more of these compressed iron, some pressure tubes, and the air compressor. Uh, where are we setting this up? Uh, we decided around this side of around it. Here somewhere. Okay, so if we just set this up. close up uh, to the. About here? Yeah, just close up. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, um, three by three block. It's pretty much just like I made the um, high oven. you got to leave an air pocket in the middle. Yeah, we don't have you... enough. <laughs> we just have to what? make a few more. We, we're but four short. Don't we have glass panels? Uh, yeah, but we've got to make don't them. We don't need just the blocks. We can just... Um... Yeah, we've got to make them there. That's the problem. Really? Um, yep. We need to put uh, compressed iron, 
round a piece of glass and then we also need to make a pressure chamber valve which is to get pressure in there in the first place anyway organized so, yeah we're not organized at all um <laughs> don't, don't try and kill ourselves uh do we have any glass um i've got sand in the chest at the front of the spaceship not a front left of it you do where is the glass uh, not glass, it's sand. Where is the sand? Glass, didn't I? Um, the, uh, no, 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 no. Front area of it. Oh, the front area. Uh, oh, there we go, 32. Alright, that's cool. Hook it up. Uh, yeah, stick it all in there, we can always get more sand. So, we need to make some valves first. Which is this, with one of them inside of it. There we go. And... Then we literally just need the window, which is just one piece of glass. So, a piece of glass. Shit. Double one piece of glass. Yeah, do you want to pop it into the middle of this crafting thing, crafting station? There we go. There we go. Get press chamber. Yeah, press chamber window. So now we can finish building this thing. We definitely didn't see that coming. <laughs> we screwed up kind of there. Uh, I know. So you knew it. Yeah, whatever. You didn't mention it though, did you? So. Put the valve there, because why not? That there, and I want to put this last bit here. Oh, no, not the last bit. That's the last bit there. So this, there we go. You right click it now, Picky. Yep. We have a uh, pressure chamber. Three by three by three pressure chamber. No uh, pressure. No pressure at the moment. So we're going <laughs> to pop down this air compressor here. I'm going to put it here, because I think we're going to we're gonna sell some automation. I think we need a bit of room to be able to do we it. We have so redstone. Yeah, but we need the pressure gauge if we're going to set up a system like that. And do we have a pressure gauge yet? I think we get a pressure gauge, don't we? I think we have to make one as well, don't we? Uh, possibly. Yeah, that's actually one of the quests. <clears> because, um, you can oh, the heating We up need to make some pressure chamber walls as well. Complete the quest. Okay. We'll so. make some of them quickly. Do you want to make some of them? I think yep. I grabbed all the compressed iron, so here you go. No, no, I've got some. I've got some. you got some? Sweet. Uh, so the pressure tubes, we need to start connecting up here. So we're going to run this one on here and to there like so. So it's all connected up now. Uh, so now what we can do, we can put some coal in here or some fuel of some type. Okay, uh, um, and I, sorry to interrupt, but I say we go for the machine upgrade speed. Ah, yes, 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 yes. That uh, requires cake or something like that. Oh, wait, yeah, it requires a cake. we've got to actually make plastic. Okay. okay, so we still got to make a piece of plastic yep. first. Okay, do you want to grab some creeper plant seeds then from about the place? So I'm going to pop some oak wood in there, just some planks. And this is going to start building up the pressure just slowly. And it's going to distribute the pressure evenly throughout the air compressor and the pressure chamber wall. So you can see it's, that needle is slowly going up. Um, we took on the pressure chamber, uh, the pressure there. You click the little pressure tab at the top right. You can see how many bars we've got. So at the moment we've got 0.2 bars of pressure in there, which is slow to begin with. It's going to take a little while. Uh, also, we're going to need to put some seeds in there. So if I bust this, this. yeah, if I bust this window open, and you can see I it love here, the escaping. noise. Yeah, it's great noise. Chuck them in there, and I'll right pop them back up again. So now the seeds are in there. You see this, if you right-click the uh, pressure chamber again, yeah, the little dial is called yellow. Yep. That means, the yellow means there's not enough pressure. The green part of it is the amount of pressure required to make whatever's in there into something else. And the red part means critical mass. Uh, it might explode. So we want to keep it below. <laughs> really want to uh, blow one up. Blow <laughs> I want to see bars. what the radius is like. <laughs> the radius is about the size of a TNT block. Remember we blew up that ah. compressed iron over there? It's about the same size. Oh, that's... Uh, it's not guaranteed to explode when it reaches the red, but it has a a chance of exploding. At that you can point. always, so if, you, if you were lucky, you could get up to seven bars if you really tried. You um, can always do the security upgrade, which um, gets a built-in safety valve tube, which pretty much um, once you once it gets to the red, you hear it hiss, and it's just relieving the pressure. Yeah, basically. Um, but we there's also a question here there. called making. Uh, measuring pressure, pressure. Oh, and there we go. Pressure gauge tube. So they, that's... they exploded. How many did you put in there? 
Put five. Oh, nice. So we can actually... We've got a moment we have to break it and yes. really get this stuff out of here, annoyingly. Um, that means we've completed the test, so we'll grab the speed upgrade. Just pop this in there. There we go. Uh, now the speed upgrade. Yes. Um, if you chuck the speed upgrade in here, it does increase the pressure quicker, but it burns. It, it wastes the fuel a lot quicker in there. So it's 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 good but bad. Yeah. Um, if you put it inside the pressure chamber upgrade, um, I believe that will upgrade the the time it takes to actually craft something, isn't it? I think that's why. No, the speed upgrade actually doesn't affect it. It doesn't. No, it's this can only have the volume, security, and life upgrade to pre pre preserve the items inside. Um, but okay. we've got to. What do we have to do now? We have to build the put and outputs, don't we? Yes, losing air or the pressure. Yeah. Should we do the pressure uh, measuring pressure? Yeah, I think so. But then we can then we can build up some uh, automation of this thing. Just a little bit of automation. Um, Pressure gauge. So, tell me, if you want to if you want to work on that, I'll work on the losing air bit. Ah, uh, yep. To automate. So what yeah. Chewie's going to do is the losing air, which um, pretty much it it allows you to input and now put the items in there without us having to break it the the old ghetto way. <laughs> old ghetto way. Ghetto. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. Uh, oh, and as okay. you can see on the mini map, the a slime has spawned. Oh yeah, here he run, is. Run to free! Oh, he's trying to run. He's he actually got out. There's, there's two of them. He got to freedom. <laughs> he, he escaped. <laughs> he climbed up our little staircase up there and he's escaped. <laughs> yeah, he he's gone. <laughs> yep. Go for him. I've got my one. Okay, so I need a pressure tube. Do we have any spare? Uh, yeah, I've got some on me. Where need are you? uh. Oh, you're here. One. Some of them. Give me more. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna move this chest around here. Um, that's this the wrong one. chest. I'll move both of them. Ah, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. so with this, I'm gonna make a pressure gauge, which requires four gold and one compressed iron. Here and go one, four. Gauge, tube, and that all with that up top of pressure tool into redstone side of it, and there we go. We have the pressure thingy, <laughs> pressure gauge, the pressure, gauge pressure tube. Gauge tube. Okay. <laughs> um, so now with is that quest completed? Yes, it is, and we get woo more compressed iron. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for on here? What am I trying to make? We're busy doing other stuff. Ah, this thing, the pressure chamber interface. Uh, this requires compressed iron, a hopper, and pneumatic cylinders, which require rain plant seeds. Plastic. So, not a cannon barrel. That's, that's, we can make cannon barrel. That's easy to make. Um, so, all in all, we need two of these actual interfaces, one for input, one for output. And then we need another... Oops. So that means we need eight of these pneumatic cylinders, which means we need six times eight is what? Twelve? Forty-eight? No, that's not right. Twenty-four. Oh no, forty-eight. Is that right? Uh, uh, six times eight, picky. Why is it? Forty-eight. I'm, I'm picky. Pretty sure, it, I'm pretty sure it's forty-eight. <laughs> yeah, it's forty-eight. <laughs> Are you, you do, yes, you're doing the losing air one, so pressure. Yeah. The face. Uh, so I need some more... Rain plant seeds, annoyingly. Ooh, yeah. So I've got 17 of them at the moment. Um, we should have bones to... Yeah, there are some bones. This. I was just gonna... Okay. 36 on me here. What, bones? Yeah. Bone meal. Good God. Bones. I only found seven in the chest. It's fine. We'll be okay. Uh, so let's see. Rain plant seeds. These don't actually do anything either. I'm pretty sure you need to be in a biome that causes rain. Or we can do anything with these ones. There we go. So we're gonna need a lot of these. Grab these up. 
That's 30. I know this is riveting to watch. <laughs> uh, so what else do we need? We need hoppers as well. Do you want to, have you set off the uh, gauge on there yet? Yep, already set up. <laughs> you set up the redstone around it as well? Uh, you, want, you want me to automate it? Yeah, may as well. Actually, why yeah. not? You want to do that, I'll keep uh, growing. Okay. So with automating it, I just need to make myself a redstone eater. I am now out of um, bone meal. Let me grab the watering can. That'll work. Oh, I need to eat, eat a sandwich. Uh, what should we go for? Apple. Bunny, bunny. <laughs> Apple jelly. You give me too much option. That's the problem. <laughs> so, yeah, redstone repeater and just a couple of redstone dust just to do this. I'm interested in how you're going to set this up, because I think your way and my way is going to be a bit different. Yeah, my way is going to be the right way. <laughs> All right, easy there. <laughs> uh, boom. Oh, this uh, squid plant seed just well, spawned a squid. Interesting. So... Uh, do it from this direction here. So from every one bar of pressure, it gives you two redstone Don't signals. Wait. So half a bar is a redstone signal, as you'll see. Boom. That redstone's on. This one's on because we're past one bar. I think we're past one and a half, so this one will be on. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four. So we want it to cut off once it hits the four. It will, it will continue cooking what's ever in there until it's cooked, and then it will stop. Just a redstone repeater there, and we change this to a a low redstone signal. Once it reaches four psi pressure or whatever you want to call it, it will turn this off. It will cook whatever's left to cook, and that won't reach five or go into the red, and it will just hold the pressure until we use it. Right. I don't even think you need a repeater. Um. Well, when it gets... Oh, yeah, because you can go four and a half, but that's that's kind of pushing it. <laughs> we could still work this out so you have the exact amount of um, redstone you need. You just need eight, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six... Okay, yeah, that's a bit tricky to... Yeah, work. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on, let me work this out. I, I'm, I'm guaranteed there's a way. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, if you, if you ziggy-zag it a bit. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm just going to leave it for now. <laughs> I'll come back to you on that. You'll probably see what he does next episode. <laughs> yeah, I'll play with that later. No, I'm not going like, to it. It, it works fine. I'm not going to try and change yeah, it. It, it, it works. It will work. Like, until we get a safety um, upgrade on it, though, which... I might look at what that does. Do you have a meal by any chance? Yeah, I've got plenty. Oh, okay. I'll come get some. Security upgrade. Oh, that's that's easy. Safety valve, obsidian, and lapis. Easy to make. Um, uh, here. I can, I, can I advise you make an item life upgrade as well? Thank you very much. Just because um, then the items in here, we don't have to worry about despawning. That's simple to make. That's simple to make just a clock. Apples and redstone. Yeah. Apples and lapis, I think. I don't think it's too bad because the pressure is going to be high. The way I've got it set is the, the pressure is always going to be at four. Ah, uh, fair enough. But obviously when we chuck a lot of stuff in there, the pressure will decrease. I need to make a clock. Four. Okay, good news. I've got enough rain plant seeds to make the plastic. Woo! One of them in there. There's a clock. So four I'm lapis coming. and four apples. Oh, don't tell me we don't have the apples. I may have eaten them all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we may have made them into sandwiches. Yeah. One short. Uh, here, have some bone meal. Yeah. <laughs> Do 
Okay, I'm gonna break this and pop these seeds in here as fast as I can. Pop. Okay, and four lapis. You guys will get to see. We've got 17 diamonds. <laughs> Build it. Yeah, we've got a lot of diamonds. Uh, oh, there you go. It's popping like popcorn. Rain plant seeds are doing their thing. Life, shift click. There we go. We done? Go, I've We're got done. the item life in there now. I don't know how much that actually increases it. Oh, yeah, oh you destroyed the problem. it, so you got it back. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, you just make sure that the items in there didn't, uh, don't despawn. Because technically they're still... It... So it still... won't despawn ever? Ever. They'll just ah, okay, sit there. Cool. As long as they're inside here, they'll just sit there. Uh, so I've got all the plastic I need. Um... So I need cannon barrels now, which require safety valves, which require pe pressure tubes, pressure gauges, which need gold. <laughs> uh, oh, while I think about it, actually. So uh, how many oh, no, pressure no, no, gauges no. do you need me to make? Uh, oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to need four. Four, okay. You can make me the tubes, the, the uh, safety valve tubes. We need. We need. So we need to make cannon barrels, and then we need hoppers as well. So I'm gonna get some aluminium and make some hoppers. I feel, I feel like we can actually run now, just because we've got this food. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Before we were walking everywhere, making sure we don't waste energy and whatnot. But now I think we. I feel like we we've got enough now. We can just go. Screw it, we're going for a run. I'm just switching this thing back to gold. Oh, right. Because yeah. we've only got like two pieces left after I've done what I've done with it. There we go. Okay. I've got the compressed iron, of course I do. Right. An aluminium. That. Four hoppers. Oh god, I didn't need that. <laughs> I didn't see you there. <laughs> There's the um, four pressure gauges. Oh, well. I'm actually gonna... Oh no, no point. I was gonna put the speed into the pressure chambers just to speed up making a lot more pressure, but um, it's pointless if we're gonna have to install those um, yeah, exactly. interfaces because yeah. we gotta, we got to bust into it. Yeah, exactly. So we've got safety valve tubes now. Uh, now I need to get some more of the... Compressor. And I reckon we go for the yeah. the reward bag as well. A reward bag again? Yeah, because we can make the um, pneumatic servos now, because we, we, can, we can make scorch yep. brick. Yep, true. Or, or so true. the... So, and the item duck is... <laughs> well, that's an item duck. It's <laughs> yeah. That's a lousy thing to pick. Or do we get them all? What is it? Oh, no, we actually get them all. Oh, yeah, we get yeah. There's four of them. Is that wrong in that? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, made so the wrong maths, thing, didn't you? No, I made the right thing. My maths was just a little bit off. Um, also, I didn't realise you get four pressure chamber interfaces for one crafting recipe. Oh. I may have screwed up a little bit. I made four hoppers and needing only one. <laughs> and well, making, this one's going to be and getting a lot, chamber, a, lot and more, <laughs> a lot more plastic than I needed. And <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> Have you. Okay, anyway. Hold on, hold on. See if you can hear this. Face palm moment. <laughs> it actually hurt. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep, I see what you're saying. Okay, pretend that didn't happen. Pretend well, what didn't happen. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, like those there, and then we need two pneumatic cylinders. Awesome. Okay, we made that. Yeah, I can't claim reward. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, yeah, I see. I see what you're saying now. I'm moving the wrong one. Yeah, I I just thought you meant the other side of the chest, not yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, no, claim reward and just. Just gonna 
get on with this. Okay, uh, claim reward. Okay, what are we getting? Hey. Some good... Oh, I got oh hello! <laughs> I ah, got some armor. You. Was it was your re 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 reward bag good or? Yeah, it was just good. I good got too. steel armor, all with protection three on it. Does that heat that you up at all? Some... I'd, I'd probably make it of... colder at night if it does. Yeah. Oh. This is bloody awesome. Okay. This do we have sweet armor? Do we have mustard seeds? No. Okay, we've got mustard seeds. We've got zucchini, no. cantaloupe, cactus. Cactus. Beet? What's beet? B double -E -T. beet. Beet seed. Beet. Uh, beetroot. Beets. Ah, oh, beetroot. Okay. We, I, I, I suppose that. beetroot. I don't know. I'm bad. That's the only beet I know. We've got broccoli. Awesome. Pineapple. Nice. Turnip. That's actually not bad. That is pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. <laughs> is that that's, hard that, that, actually, if you, if you think about it, our reward bags are pretty much tailored toward, towards us. You think about it? Farmer and the fighter. <laughs> exactly. We saw it. I'm going to the city. I need some protection. You've been farming. You've got <laughs> you crops. You've hired a cook our food. <laughs> exactly. So it's perfect. Uh, I'm just going to leave all this armor on for now. Now I'm going to put my new man helmet back on because I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Just putting it on. to see if that heats you up in the morning, the steel. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, okay. Get helmet out of there. We'll have to... Actually, we could probably plug in a uh, charging station onto here as well now, can't we? So. Uh, anyway, what was I? I was trying to go in and install these things, wasn't I? Yes. So let's. Um, I'd say install, one. not that side. I'd say go from this side and then this What's, side. What just happened? This is a window. The window is placed the wrong way. Hold on. Oh, now it's in there. I'm, I'm just going to take out the coal just to stop it. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Uh, By the time we've done all the pressure is going to be okay. gone anyway. Yeah, okay. So you want on the back here? Yep. Put the input there. Look at that, that's awesome. That is just awesome yep. looking. And that's set up with the input. Now the output you have to actually you gotta go, in gotta go the through it, down. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Okay. Yep, that's set. Yeah, and it's out of pressure now. <laughs> <clears throat> and just put the window in the in the front yeah. here so we can actually see what's going on. I should have put that there. Nice misclick. Sorry. Uh, let's just get rid of them windows a second. I'm going have a room of my inventory. Yeah. There we go. Hey, yeah, now open. That's nice. cool. So, uh, you can right click each one of these individually. And what, you can set the uh, filters on this. So you can have an item filter so it only pulls out certain things. So uh, this will, at the moment, this is default to pull out anything. Uh, so we put some seeds in the back here, or something in the back. Uh, let me pop some of this stuff and, in there. If, and if you give them the upgrade, what it actually does is th these little doors open and close. And if you give it a speed upgrade, it just does that faster. So it loses less pressure. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'll start to some... pressurize it. Yeah, start to pressurize it. I'll go grab some seeds Ooh. and I'll try and... Packing some speeds in there too, so it can pressurize quicker. Yeah. Even though I'm wasting coal, it's, you know... Yeah, yeah. You just don't uh... want to wait. Let's grab some. You're in here. Just some creeper plant seeds. Oh no, what we got a lot of? We grab a couple of lightning plant seeds just for demonstration purposes. So, quite simply, at the moment, if I put a seed in here, which I don't actually know, can you just drop them in here? Can you? Um, or do you need like an input? You need like a chest next to it. It needs like a hopper or a item duct to go in there. <laughs> well, funny enough, I have some hoppers spare. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop a lightning plant seed in here for now. The, the and best see, thing is, in there and it's shut. Oh, it actually did go in there. Yep. Our problem is though, uh, so the yeah, seeds it came just straight took back it straight out. out. Yes, because we've got to change the filter to um... exactly. So the filters work by either um, an item filter, so you can choose what item you want to put in there. You, so you can say only plastic can come out, you can put a type of plastic in there. Or what Piggy's doing now is uh, changing the interface 
and you can actually type in items that contain the word plastic. Meaning, only items with a uh, the word plastic will go into here now. So if I make another chest quickly, let me just... Why can't we grab those seeds? Because uh, they actually need to be deposited somewhere. You can't... What am I doing? I need to... I'm trying to make a crafting table. I don't know why I put these straight down. Stupid. Very stupid. There's a crafting table. Station like that. So I'm just going to get a uh, chest quickly. Uh, pop this on there like that. So there's the lightning plant seeds in there now. Now if we um, input lightning plant seeds this time, see them go, they've gone in, they're deposited in there, and the pressure is so high in there it just instantly popped it, and it pulled out plastic this time. So it won't pull out uh, anything the else. seeds anymore, it'll only yeah. pull out stuff with the word plastic in the um, in the actual... Uh, name of, of the item. So any yep. seeds we pop in there now, I'll just pump them straight out. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate issues here. Um, so yeah, that is basically this setup. That's now. pretty this much is, it. This is automated. Well, to a degree, it's automated. Uh, we've got a certain amount of pressure built up in there now as well. Um, yeah, and um, and so yeah, we'll we'll probably uh, end the episode, but um, I, I want to show you guys. What this does this little setup here um you know i don't want to stay here and wait for the pressure to build up so i'll make a small cut and i'll show you what it does so yeah um so nothing else we need to i think that's it i think uh, at the moment we just needed to get that set up i've got heat stroke now so i'm just going to drink some water quickly uh yeah because we can count. do other stuff the exposure uh we also yeah. from the city we've got um the charging station is that here or yes. inside oh. Right. Quite that one, I think about it. In the other chest, uh, yeah. Charging no, it's in the other, in the other chest. chest there, yeah. Um, and I need to find me a brown mushroom brown uh, mushroom still, because I want to make a upgrade uh, called the uh, entity up entity tracker. Uh, quite a fermented spider eye, annoyingly. So it needs a brown mushroom, and I don't know how to get brown mushrooms. There is a mob that drops them, but we don't know which one it is. Um, but as soon as I find one, I can make this thing. So this will be this entity a tracker upgrade for my helmet, which will be very useful for when I'm in the city, just to uh, help me spot mobs a bit better without relying on the uh, without relying on the uh, mini map. So I'm gonna be looking for that for a while. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty good. We're pretty set up. Um, we're getting quite down the line. The exposure quest is to make a empty PCB, uh, and this is basically how you make um, print circuit boards for all the machinery. Things like the um, harvester and the planter. So, planter requires a machine frame, and machine frames require this uh, PRC LX100 logic expansion card, which requires a printed circuit board. So, that's so pretty much we're almost at a point we can make machines. Almost. So, you see here it's now reached 4 psi, it's turned on this repeater. This repeater is now hitting the air compressor, and it's burning up the last bit of coal, and now it's not going to burn up anymore. Yeah, so, so it's stopped now, now. Yeah, this is now locked. Pressurized. Basically, yep. it's locked until we start putting some more stuff in here and yep. start to lose a bit of pressure. Pressurizes, yes. As soon as and what's good four, is kick back in. What they actually need to do is pressure always finds a way to get out of something, and this well, never yeah. loses. It never loses pressure though. No, this will won't. never go down until we put stuff into it. So the mod maker should possibly, uh what is it? Uh, change that to lose, you know, point Maybe. one every, Maybe. you know, ten but seconds or so. I reckon that's yeah. more realistic. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> really got some bad frame rate going on, so I'm gonna. Have to, I think we're gonna have to just end it now, Becky, because it's getting really jumpy. <laughs> okay, uh, guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye.